여러분 안녕하세요 자 토크TV입니다 제가 영어 성경 공부를 소개하는 장면들은 많이 내보냈는데요 그 안에 보면 공부하는 절차 여섯 번을 반복해서 해야 된다 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다 쉐도잉을 해야 된다 자 어떻게 하는 건지 오늘 한번 제가 보여드리겠습니다 먼저 여기 보시다시피 소개 문이 나오죠 이 소개 글이 끝난 다음에 다섯 번을 하고 마지막에 한 번을 풀로 해주는 거예요 한 장을 그러면 이제 여섯 번이 되는 건데요 다섯 번을 듣고 있습니다 반복을 하면 여러분 영어 공부 엄청 가 있습니다. 자그 다음 단계로 그 단계에 보면은 영어 공부 절차 했죠. 방법은 똑같아요. 그러나 이거를 이미 마쳤기 때문에 그 다음부터는 쉐도잉 1년을 합니다. 자 쉐도잉 절차도 똑같아요. 단 다른 부분이 뭐냐 이걸 따라서 하는 거죠. 자 또와 How to post the Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in the Christ Jesus. How to post Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are the apostles and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 두 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by will of God to the saint who are in a position and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 세 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in a position and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 네 번째 있나요? 자, 네 번째죠. Our own portion of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are a person and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 다섯 번 했어요. 이렇게 이 절이 22절까지 돼 있다면 22절을 마치고 마지막 한 번을 풀로 해줍니다 1년간을 6개월을 반복 듣기를 마친 이후에 1년을 쉐도잉을 하면 쉐도잉 할 때는 동시 통역하듯이 같이 합니다 동시에 나오는 걸 들음과 동시에 까불까불까불까불 하면서 동시에 해주는 거예요 그러니까 통역 방식이죠 1년을 하면 여러분 영어로 걱정 안 하셔도 됩니다 여러분 영어 완성이 그렇게 쉬운 일은 아닙니다만 이런 방법으로 하면 영어는 완성됩니다 Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff and I was told Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and those who worship there. Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out. For it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out. For it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out. For it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees, and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. These are the two olive trees, and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. These are the two olive trees, 
and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. These are the two olive trees, and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. These are the two olive trees, and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. They have the power to shut the sky that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. They have the power to shut the sky that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood, and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood, and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood, and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And, and when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And, and when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And, and when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And, and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt where their Lord was crucified. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And for three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And 
for three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And for three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. For three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. Those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. Those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. Those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. Those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. And they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. And they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. And they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard but after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud. And the enemies watched them, and at that hour there was a great earthquake. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and the enemies watched them, and at that hour there was a great earthquake. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and the enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud. And the enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud. And the enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. The second woe has passed. 
Behold, the third woe is soon to come. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, and the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. Saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, 
and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Revelation 11 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them, and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed, behold. The third woe is soon to come. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail.